Hello, I'm Niall Khan, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the FIFA World Cup in Russia in 2018. So, there's been lots of controversy surrounding this World Cup, but today I'm going to be focusing on the logistics. Russia actually hosted the Winter Olympics in 2014 in Sochi. This was a one-city event, and only took place. All the events took place in Sochi, so there was no need to build expensive ways for the fans to get around. For all these non-football fans, I'm just going to give a basic background of how a team gets to the World Cup final. So first, teams have to qualify from their own continent. So for example, Africa has eight groups of five teams, and then the winners of each group go into a qualification round, and the winners of those matches get into the World Cup finals. Whenever you get to the finals, you're put into your groups, and this is all in Russia. So whenever you play all of these games, you get through, and the top two in each group go to the knockout stage. You complete the knockout stage, and 64 games are played in Russia. As a result of this, you can't just have one stadium. You actually have to have at least 10. So, the problem in Russia is that all these stadiums are kind of built up around the country. And there isn't a great transport system. For example, whenever you look up Russian trains, you get a picture of that train. If you look up Russian buses, you get a picture of that bus. So, although they're going to have beautiful venues, they're not going to have any way to get the fans around. So just a map here showing that all of these cities are spread about as, about as far as Western Europe countries. So at first I looked at a solution which had small planes bringing people around, but this had a few major problems. Firstly, Russia doesn't have the infrastructure for this, because Saransk Airport, one of the cities which is going to host a 45,000 seater stadium, only has 10 car parking spots. It also only has, it can only service domestic flights and only very small planes like this one. This isn't a way to get in 45,000 people. So I started to look at trains. So whenever I looked up trains in Russia, I found that they were quite expensive still because it's a very long distance and they're also very slow. So I found the distances and I said that it would take eight or so hours to get from Moscow to Yekaterinburg, which isn't exactly ideal for any fan. So I looked at the Shanghai map off, which is kind of a mix between the planes and the trains. Because it's a super fast train, which can hold lots of people, and at the same time, isn't it as expensive as building up the airport infrastructure. So this will cost a bit more money. But at the same time, at the very end of this World Cup, Russia will have all of this infrastructure. So if you look at this, comparing it to airbuses and building up a full airport, uh, full aerospace industry, you actually spend quite a lot more money, as well as leaving no infrastructure and having worse tournament for the fans, having more expensive flight for fans, long waits in airports, and less people on each flight. So having planes is really a short-term solution. Whereas building maglev trains, that's all of the Russians get around Russia, and also is cheaper for the fans. So I think you'll all agree in the fact that maglev trains are the solution to the infrastructure problem. Thank you very much for listening.